out here at EVO 2019. I uh, just got done with pools in Winterside. And yeah, we're just all trying to compete in the World Finals and just hoping to get lucky, I guess. <laughs> the energy is great, you know, obviously a lot of people are stressed, but that's the, the good thing about it. You know, everyone's bringing what they have, the passion, you can see it. And yeah, just a good environment to be in, just to see what everyone brought to the table. All of the Echo Fox FGC players are here, Sonic Fox, the Hill Sage, Knuckle Doom, me to King and me. We're gonna be trying our best to win either. Quite. One of the weaknesses of Flash Kick, it can be crossed up. And this is looking bad. He's not, I don't think he's gonna have super. So maybe he can't finish it off on this combo, but returning to neutral in this position is looking so rough. Oh, and that's, that's the full screen chip right there. Can't do anything yeah. about it. Game, Good set, stuff. and match, knuckle two, two games straight. Dugo, you know, don't be too hard on yourself, man. You're oh, playing no, against absolutely. a world-class player. You did just fine. Man. Yeah. I would have done the same. Like, when I, if I fought, were to fight knuckle Dew, I wouldn't get a single hit on him. And that's real. Yeah, so I'm done for the day, but I'm going to still study my opponents. I'm going to go back and train for my future potential opponents just to make sure that I'm fully prepared. And, yeah, just no, no slacking, you know. We're in Vegas. I haven't touched a single slot machine, a single Baccarat table. Uh, I'm eating pretty humbly, you know, <laughs> so, oh, you know, that's a word, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just here to win, man. I'm just here to, to do my best. But still in a major, major deficit in the corner. Nice tech, but here it comes. Oh, but hit out of the air oh. and that caught Shudo by surprise. He wasn't able to confirm off of it properly. He is now running, yeah, he had, he had another one queued up, yeah. the Aegis Reflector, but yeah, he knows he got beat there pretty yeah. seriously. Yeah. yeah, so this year I had a, a slow start, you know, I'm shifting characters, so obviously my results are going to decline a little bit, trying to learn new characters. But yeah, I picked it back up at Soryuken, and um, you know we won the 3v3 here in the, J the Japan tournament. So it was a good way to start off EVO, and yeah, I'm slowly coming in form, man. I'm, I really like seeing how my, my work is paying off. Under the other side, and a great confirm that time from Knuckle Dude. Did you catch him? Oh, okay, yeah, reversal. doesn't want to deal with the mirror. But corners himself. Oh, pulls him out of the air, what a hold. <laughs> to the oh, other no. side, didn't know when, when the switch. He's got the critical arc. That's gonna be That it. should be able to do it for Shuto. And he wow. takes it over Knuckle Do. Wow, in a nail biter there at the very end. For Evo, I was more nervous than CEO because everyone had like higher expectations. Um, but for me, I just wanted to do better than I did last year. I just played my qualifying match versus Kazunoko and I unfortunately lost 2-1 last hit, really close. Yeah, I made it to top 12, I got ninth. Uh, it was okay, but for me, I just wanted to do better than I did last year, which was 49th. Uh, so I did way better than that this year, so at least I have that. Yeah, right now, I'm, what I'm going to do is just watch Sonic, hopefully he wins. He's been practicing hard for this, so it's been showing the whole tournament, so I think he can do it. Those are my favorite sets in Dragon Ball Fighters by far, with me fighting Goichi. Um, I think those are the best Dragon Ball Fighters sets in the period. Sonic with the block. Yeah, Sparking about to run out. He got hit, but it was a really hard combo to hit and finds the 2-0. Well. This is big now for Sonic. Six bars too. This is a... Uh... Because it's not going to be pretty. Yeah, he's dead. He's going to level three to himself. He can Dragon Rush after into the fist. And then close it out with the meter he's gone. Air Dash, Dragon Rush. This is the kill. Level one. Level three. Yeah. Spend it all if you have to. Sonic Fox. Game two right now. He's on Goichi's last character. And he's got sparking available. Goichi's like hitting the side of his head like, what am I thinking? I really got to clean it up here. Um, he just adapted to my really aggressive playstyle. He kept letting me make mistakes and hang myself essentially. He kept letting me come to him and then I ended up dying when I should have really slowed the game down. Good the blocks. defense. D both sides. I'm blocking both sides now. H Mystic Ball. Ball. Okay. This is huge. Sonic Fox no. goes for the reset, the challenge. Goichi was ready for it. He brings him up. This is it, drop him, keep it simple. There it is, Goichi, your Dragon Ball Fighters 2019 
EVO CHAMPION! Yeah, it's like, it's a friendship based off of wanting to really push each other to our, like, maximum limits, you know? We wanted to see who's the best of the best, right? But, like, it came about from us being the best in our respective regions and us butting heads together. And it's like nobody like, can play at uh, that pace that we can for the most part. And so when we put each other to the test, it's like, hey, can you keep up with this thing can I do? And like, we just kept like laughing at each other like mid-set and everything. And it was just like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, this community is like my second family, for sure. Uh, I don't see myself leaving it for a very long time. Yeah, I, I was extremely confident the whole way. I expected to win, to be honest. I was like, people can't really keep up with me right now. Ooh. Yes, he chases in. Now, again, that's unsafe, but it's a call out, and he's actually been right more often than not. Hey, yes, he, he's going to feel those reads in the Sonic Box. Just knows when you want to press buttons, go for special moves. Yeah. He's got such a great understanding of fighting games that I'm not going to lie to you, sometimes I don't understand. And with that throw, it's going to go up 1 0. Oh! oh! Off with her head! So I kept. Really, really training really hard just so it stayed that way. Um, I was 50-50. I was, I, was I was focusing on both MK11 and Dragon Ball Fighters. I thought I could win both, and I was close, but I, I'll take first and second. <laughs> oh boy, it's either way! Sonic Fox is safe, can he find another hit? Coming under the wire, got the flaws blocked down to raise the punch. Block Angel, but no offense for it. Back things up, gets one of that punch. He's gonna give it to Andrew, and Sonic Fox is your evolution 2019! Champion! It didn't even pop off that hard. I was just like, like I earned this because I, I knew that the hard work I put into it was well deserved. Sonic Fox is back in control of Mortal Kombat at Evolution. It's been two years since he won Evo, but as you said before, he was actually the reigning Mortal Kombat champion. Intervening years was injustice, and he's back on top. You can see it right there. I beat everyone in my round one, round two pools with a bunch of different characters. Uh, I won two of all of them, and then round three got a lot harder. I fought a good duck hunt. Super close to winning, but I barely lost like like this close. And I just was playing for like forever, just constantly playing a bunch of different people. And I lost to uh, Kome the Shulk. He's like really good. He's the best Shulk in the world. I got 49th at Evo, uh, 49th, but it was 3,500 entrance, so it's it's not too bad. I put up a, I put up a respectable fight, so. I, I guess I showed that like people down me too. Much. I don't know. I'm underrated. <laughs> I'm better than most people say. I just, I just like the fourth time I've outranked my seed. It's like I'm like obviously there's a lot of better, a lot, a lot of people better than me, but I at the same time I also think people underrate me too much just because I don't go to turns as much. Can we make a We are here at EVO 2019. This is like the biggest tournament for Smash in history. So I'm like an I made of eight from losers, but I'm still in the tournament. Today at 7 p.m. we're gonna be playing the finals in the main. I mean, in the main stage. Well, in the arena. This is, my, this is gonna be my first time playing at, at the arena at EVO. Since last year I couldn't come because I got chicken pox. But I was pretty sure I was gonna win last year. And I really wanna win this tournament, even if I went to losers. I can still take the tournament. And I, I was practicing with, uh, with my cousin Javi, Wizro. The pressure about not losing early, like really bad. Then I, I played like seven sets before losing to Kamemushi. He's like, he got second place at one Evo, I think. He's like really good. He was one of the few people I didn't want to fight in the tournament. Kai's to call it the roll. He wanted a fourth smash. Offstage oh, situation again. Okay, let's go super low. He doesn't quite get what he was looking for, though. 110 piece. Oh and my god, that's gonna be the set! MK Leo sending. Uh, MK Leo getting sent to the loser's bracket. You saw how I couldn't even say that Kamehame sent MK Leo to the loser's bracket. This is a thing that we're not used to saying. This, ladies and gentlemen, is historical right here. Sonic Fox came to me last night. He said that even if I'm losers, I can still take it. I mean, he said something like, 
you've done it before, so I'm pretty sure you can also do it. You show everyone that you're indeed the best and just win your first Evo. Nah, I mean, uh, in, the, in my last set versus Abadango, I was like pretty confident I was gonna win. <laughs> I mean, I never lose. I never lost to Abadango in Smash 4. There's no reason to lose to Abadango in this one. game. Una vez. Yeah, I lost once. once. <laughs> I lost once to Abadango in a, in a week. And that doesn't count. <laughs> Leo sets, good God. He's a force of nature. Yeah. He's just a hurricane blowing through your town, taking over building after building, and you watch him coming, but you don't have a shelter. Yeah, I mean, for this tournament at least, I'm just gonna keep going Joker. Even if I lose, you're gonna see the Joker until the end. Tweet's brain is escaping his skull. I have never seen anyone play at a level like this. This man is definitely transcended right now, and Charizard's out. Just throw out the flare blades and end this thing. Take all of our souls right now. Oh, run up, pivot, tilt! Game 2-2, two, two, Tweak! One more game, and Tweak will win the biggest Smash tournament of all time. Uh, Leo is the best in the world, obviously. Um, if you actually look at results, he's won like half the turns he's entered. And they're like majors, so like obviously he's the best. Like, he, before Joker, he was like rank 1 slash 2. Now he's still rank 1 slash 2. Uh, more, almost everyone agrees he's number 1. If you look at every turn before this, it's obvious. Um, I'd say Tweak and Mars are right behind him. Let's get the back air. Let's see the forward air into the up air. We Ooh. can't get much else, and our set has come. Yeah, this could spell the end for this game right here and the set. Oh, okay, no punish for that. Rapid chopping on his shield. So lucky, but here's a grab opportunity. No follow up. Yeah, he is not falling for that. Falling down air or those Pokemon switches off stage. There is the reset. Every time we went for the reset, Leo either had it covered or was ready to cover it. I obviously have Mewtwo King. He, he was gonna give me advice later, so hopefully he has some good advice. Like every time he gives me advice, I'll, I'll always win. Like basically I'll always win. He's really good at giving me advice. And if, even if he's not that great in the game, he is still really good at giving me advice. I've been helping him since like 2015, 20, since like 2016 I was like starting helping him a lot and it's getting better at Smash 4, helping beat people, and I kind of just do that now too, just because I want to help my friend, and also he's my teammate. So since he's MVG Echo Fox, I just, I try to help him more too. There's the up air. Tweak just looking utterly defeated right now. Can he find it within himself to be able to win this set? Looking like he's gonna do it right here with this edge guard. Yes, absolutely with the back air. Taking him out of it, going up 2-0. Tweak, man, if you're in this scenario, you gotta feel kind of bad about it. But oh, kinda. Okay, kinda. I mean, hopefully not too bad though. He's got to keep that new good mentality. Since I mean, I really want to win because I want to win for myself, and I also want to prove the people that I'm like indeed the best. After I lost, I was like, okay, I think I can still make it. I can still make it. It's gonna be hard. I just don't want people to think I'm not the best player. He wants it so bad. Tweak trying to find his opening. Don't know if he can. Leo trying to land next to him again. Tweak is ready for it. The land next to Leo. There's so much close quarter combat. Oh, and those rapid jabs could have paid so much heavier for it, but still with a chance at life here. The back air hanging on with a good DI. Oh, Watch good. the back air. Leo lands him and Tweak we is have still surviving. He's able to live, but watch another back air. He has to find his way back on stage. We've got the back air. Oh, okay. the back throw into the back air. We have the forward smash, the Hail Mary. He went for everything right there with that. Yes, and rolling onto the stage so unsafely, but DIing again to keep himself barely alive. Air dodging to the ledge. Waiting for the third jab. So smart. He's going to try to go low. Can he spike it? He missed times it. He grabs the ledge. And with that, MK Leo defeats Tweak to be your 2019 Evo champion. You can dread it. You can run from it. But in the end, MK Leo will arrive in grand final. It was something that I, that I thought it was never going to happen. Like, I was actually losing the set 2-0. I was almost, I mean, I almost lost the fourth game. I mean, I don't know if it was luck, if it was God, or it's just... It was you. It's, like, I can't even cry. It's like, it was like, it felt like impossible. And I did it.